Welcome everybody. The NFL regular season is over, which means it's time to look forward to the NFL offseason. Today we're going to do a Seattle Seahawks 2023 NFL mock draft as we look forward to their future. All right, as mentioned, we are going to be looking at the Seattle Seahawks 2023 NFL Draft. They are an interesting team. They made the playoffs with Geno Smith. Not anyone expected that. Uh, they have two first-round picks as they traded with the Broncos. Uh, they traded Russell Wilson to the Broncos and now have Geno Smith in place. They're in a pretty good spot. And Pete Carroll has a roster where I think with these picks that you have at the early parts of the draft, you could really make some, make some noise here and really improve your team for next season. Let's just dive right in. We know Geno is likely coming back uh, from – He's going to sign a contract extension with the Seahawks moving forward, and uh, he'll be the quarterback. Also, as a reminder, we're going to reject any trades that come up. It is usually something that is unbalanced or just really not that great in terms of mock draft simulators. We're going to be using the NFL Mock Draft Database Simulator as they at least have the players who are going to be in the draft in. Some guys will slide, as we're going to skip to in a second here, that maybe won't slide. Uh, so we'll, we'll just kind of, we'll kind of roll with it. But uh, at least I love the players who are there. Uh, we're going to go with the first pick for Seattle. I think they're probably going to be looking at edge rusher. They know they need to get after the quarterback. Look, most more honestly, you're probably looking at Miles Murphy, Tyree Wilson, uh, players in that range. But if Will Anderson falls, which, I mean, maybe people move up for a quarterback. Maybe they maybe they want quarterbacks so they move up to the top three. The Colts, you know, take the fourth quarterback because they're just that desperate for a quarterback. Or maybe some of them land him a free agency. That That's definitely a possibility. Uh, we're going to take Will Anderson in this one, but maybe more realistically look at like Tyree Wilson as someone to expect for the Seahawks. Uh, Will Anderson would definitely upgrade the edge. He's also a solid run defender for Alabama and probably been the best college football player they've had. Uh, over the last several years, even with Bryce Young being quarterback for Alabama, Will Anderson has been been astounding. All right, next pick up. Uh, I think we're going to go Brian Brzee here. I think the the Seahawks defensive line really could use some improvements uh, all the way through. Brzee is a guy who really didn't have quite the season you would have want. He's got really good traits, but he also had off the field issues. He had his own health issues. He had his sister who had cancer and passed away. There's a lot to kind of think of like this. This guy had other things besides football going on in his mind. And if you're a team like the Seahawks where you just got Will Anderson and you already have a team that made the playoffs, he doesn't have to be the greatest, biggest star in the world. He can be really successful. And you get two players on your defensive line that I think can really have a huge impact ready already uh, in the year one. All right, so we'll go to the pick number 37. I'm going to say the board looks really fantastic for the Seahawks. I'm going to Manuel Forbes, the corner out of Mississippi State. Uh, now, we know that the Seahawks drafted Tyreek Wool Tariq Woolen last year. They have Kobe Bryant, who played the slot. They also got last year, but they could use another outside corner. Emmanuel Forbes uh, is kind of a smaller guy. Maybe he won't fit Pete Carroll and what he likes to do, but he does have a lot of pick sixes. He's a good ball hawk, and maybe they could just change it up a little bit. Uh, just other corners in the range might be, might be something to look for there, but Emmanuel Forbes is a really good corner, really good ball skills. You can go do a much, do a much worse with that. All right, we're going to keep it rolling here. We have some interesting guys on the board here. We have tight ends, which I don't think they need. They probably have too many tight ends as as we're speaking now. They have Kayshawn Booty who had a bad wider had a bad season this year. The wide receiver from LSU he had a lot of drops and there's some off the field issues that came up. We have Kalaja Kansi, but we just picked two defensive linemen. Andre Carter from the Army had a good 2021 season. Uh, but, again, just pick that defensive line. Uh, so I'm going to go Kayshawn Booty, as uh, as I like to call him. He's the – again, the, the athleticism is there. The drops are also there. you got to take it all into account. But when you have DK Metcalf, when you have Tyler Lockett on the outside, maybe move him inside or maybe move Tyler Lockett inside, you have three receivers now for Geno Smith, when, who you're going to bring back this year. Uh, that that's pretty good, good setup there. And you've already had a pretty good dra draft already. So you can kind of move around and pick who you really want here rather than positions of need. Uh, so we're going to keep it moving. We're at pick 83 now for, for the Seahawks. I do think it's a good possibility. They double up on edge rusher in this draft. I think they need to get after quarterback more. If Keon white falls, he's a, he's a senior bowl guy and he, he really impressed there. If he falls, I think they're going to take him, and they'll have two edge rushers who can really be dynamic pieces for the future. Uh, we know they signed Bruce Irvin and back on the team, and he was a guy who, I mean, he's been he's been in the league forever. He's not going to be there much longer. So get another pass rusher. He might be more of a rotational depth guy, but that is okay. Moving on to pick number 123. 
I think with this one, we're going to go Dayon Henley uh, of Washington State. They do need linebacker help. They got Jordan Brooks in the first round a couple of years ago, but they could always use depth, and I think it's good to kind of look into that here. We're at pick 153 now, and I, I love that Ty J. Spears just dropped because, yes, you have Kenneth Walker. Yes, Rashad Penny's a free agent, uh, but you got Kenneth Walker. Ty J. Spears is maybe a guy you could put in on third downs. He's really dynamic as a runner, kind of a smaller guy, but also really fast. Uh, just a guy I think could could really help that offense on third downs. Uh, moving on, we can go, I think with this one, we're going to go Nick Broker, the offensive tackle from Ole Miss. He also, he, so he slid into guard this year. I think he can play more guard, uh, give him depth on the offensive line. I, they drafted two tackles last year that both look like they're solid starting caliber tackles. Get Nick Broker is a, is a, Backup offensive tackle as it may be a guy you just move into guard. I don't think that's a bad idea whatsoever. And the last pick of the draft, pick 198, can go a lot of different ways. I mean, the draft has already been looks pretty good. Uh, I, with this one, I'll go, I'll go Brandon Hill, the safety out of Pittsburgh. Yes, they have Jamal Adams coming back. Yes, they have Quandre Diggs. But a lot of times teams are going with three safeties now. I don't know if you expect Brandon Hill to make the roster if you're taking him that late in the draft. But at the end of the day, maybe you take him to play special teams. Uh, and it's a position that you haven't already addressed. We did double down on some of these. But at the same time, I think it's good to get someone who – a position that you haven't already addressed. All right, so looking it over, Will Anderson. We don't know if he'll be on the board when the Seahawks are picking. But if he is, I think he's going to be the pick. Brian Brzee, not the season he would have liked last year, but he had a lot of off-the-field stuff going on. A guy who I think would be very productive without having to be a star on that defensive line as they already have Will Anderson. Emmanuel Forbes, kind of a smaller guy, but he does have good ball skills. I don't know if Pete Carroll will go for that, but I do know that he is a solid player. Kayshawn Booty out of LSU, he's bad 2022 season. 2021, he was pretty good, solid athlete. His production's dipped every year. It's just something that... They're going to have to get over, but I, I think if you get a guy like that who's who's could have been a first-round talent, but he falls to the second round there, and you put him with Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf, I think you might have something cooking. Keon White, the, the senior bowl guy who who really showed out there, Deion Henley, linebacker, Ty J. Spears, Nick Brecker, Brandon Hill, all guys that will probably be fighting for roster spots. I really do like this mock draft for the Seahawks. We'll see if the board falls that way. We'll see if it's anything close to this by the time the draft actually comes around. Uh, my turn to remind everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It always helps us out. Be, look, be on the lookout for more mock drafts in the future. Thanks, to everyone, for watching.